Hi guys, this is Yi from Dove Computer Solutions here. This is a quick guide on how to set up a captive portal on a TP-Link EAP220 wireless N access point. So let's just jump straight into the TP-Link EAP220 dashboard. We click on the wireless tab and then from there we click on the portal tab. The authentication type we can set as local password or uh, external radius server. In this case we use a local password, set the password and authentication timeout to one hour. We can add uh, our company name and terms and conditions and once we've done that we can save the settings, go into the wireless settings select the band that we want to enable the portal on so we just tick the portal setting save that and there we go so then we connect to the TP-Link wireless access point on our phone or laptop and that will bring up a login captive portal page so from here we just enter the preset password on the captive portal and that's it so once we go on to our browser, you'll see we're on the internet. Thanks for watching this quick guide on setting up a captive portal on a TP-Link EAP220 wireless access point. As always, like below if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or comment uh, in the usual place. Thanks for watching.